Now, earlier on, uh, we chatted to leading hypnotist Keith Barry, and he is back with us again. He's going to try out some of his magic on us. Well, <coughs> on you. Yes, mm. yes. You Wrong, on you, it Mark. I'm going to spring it on yeah. you right now. So Good. let's get straight into it. Can you swap places for a second? Okay, so I've got a 100 euro note here, Mark. Okay, so here's the idea. Uh, you don't see these too often, so here's the game. It's just a little game that I like to play, and it really annoys the person that I'm playing with. So I'm going to fold this up to a kind of a little ball. We'll keep it that size so the camera will be able to pick it up in a moment. Okay. So I want you to take this. We're going to play the game oh, five happily. times in a row. And here's the game. Put it behind your back, okay, and mix up your hands. Turn this way so you're kind of facing me. So here's the idea. In a moment, you'll bring out your hands. One of the hands will contain the note, okay? Mm. I've got to guess five times in a row which hand contains the note. And I'll explain how we do it. As I do it, so people can pick up on it on the camera. Okay. Let's bring out both hands like this. Now focus on where the note is. Okay, bring your hands up here. Look at my finger. Keep an eye on my finger. Look at me. Okay, now focus on where... Now he's good. I don't know if you noticed, because he's got the poker face on. So just follow my finger again as I move my finger from here over to here. Now focus on where it is. Now predominantly right-handed people. Now don't react this. Predominantly right-handed people will put it in their right hand. Don't react. Uh, now Mark knows that, but double back bluff me. I believe he started with his right hand. So it is in your right hand. Turn your right hand over. It Aww. is there. So let's go again. So now that you know how the game works, he's going to try and catch me out. And that's the game. Okay. So, so you bring do out double, double bluff? What do you do? Double back bluff. <laughs> now Mark is thinking now putting it into his back pocket. Don't do that, Mark. <laughs> Don't do that, Mark, because he that's totally not the rules. Was. Oh yeah, I know. I'm reading his mind right now. I'm getting inside his mind. As I'm doing this with him, I want you to think of uh, somebody you know has been playing the lottery for a long length of time. So somebody over 35 but got under it. 99. Okay, Don't tell got us. It, got bring it. out your hands, bring out your hands again. So it can't be in your back pocket, it must be in one of your hands. Go. Okay, focus my finger again. Concentrate on whether it's in your left hand, concentrate whether it's in your right hand. Now, I know that he's the type of person who would try and double back bluff me, so he's definitely going to go with his right hand again. It's in your right hand again. Good, go again, quickly. Okay, this time is the most difficult because now he's thinking, well, he knows how I think, I know how he thinks. So now you know that I know that you know what you're going to do next. Now, neither of us knows. So take out your hands like this, good, and separate them out just a little bit more. This time, though, he decided, well, you know, if I go with a pattern, because we are pattern followers and pattern seekers, uh, Barry would know that. So I'll change it up and I'll go with my left hand. So it's in your left hand this time. Good, okay, good, uh, go ahead. Yeah, now see, it gets really annoying. It gets really annoying. Go again, go again, go again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, the fourth one is actually difficult as well, but it's easier than the third one. Just take that, because now it's in your left hand, so swap it over to your right hand, Mark. Ah! Now take out your hands. <laughs> I'm just messing with him now. Focus on my finger. I'm going to say right now, immediately, it's in your left hand again. It is in your left hand again. Okay, go again, one last time. <clears throat> okay, and bring out your hands. Bring... <laughs> I know you so wanted to put it in your back pocket that time that I caught you out as well, didn't yeah, you? It was, okay. it was halfway in there. Focus on my finger again. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with, oh, I'm not sure this time, but I'm going to go with, it's in your right hand again. It is in his right hand again. Good, I get to keep the 100. So focus on... I should have taken it out of your hands there. <laughs> yeah, he was watching on the monitor. <laughs> so I want you just to look at me, just yes. take a deep breath in. This is not okay. hypnosis, but close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes. Okay. And I want you to think of numbers relevant to you. Relevant to you. What do I mean by that? I want you to keep, okay. keep your eyes closed just for a moment uh, because I don't want you to see. I'm going to write down some numbers here and these numbers in a moment I'll ask you which one means the most to you. Okay, so okay. I'll go start with 37. Okay, I'm going to ask you which one of these means the most to you. 16. Think of numbers relevant to you. Anniversaries, birth dates, perhaps a court date that you have coming up. Okay. She knows, by the way, she's got speed. Okay, five, <laughs> we've got 12. We've got, uh, I'll do it with 14 over here. Let's go with 38. We'll go with 15. I'll go to 9, 8. Look at me, open your eyes. Close your eyes, good. Okay, we've got 39. Uh, I'm trying to get these out of your subconscious. In a moment, I'll ask you which one means the most. 7, 10. I'll go up here with 11, 6, uh, 40, and I'll finish it off with 13. Good. I've written out a lot of numbers, okay? Okay. And I'm going to show them to you in a moment, and okay. you'll tell us which, just which one stands out the most, which one means something okay. to you, which one of those numbers. I'll show them to the camera in a moment. Okay, which one pops out at you? Quite a few of them, actually, but I'm going to okay. go with one. One. Okay. What is one to you? Do I need to tell you? Yeah, yeah, tell everybody. Okay, six. Uh, no, but what, what does one mean to you? Uh, the number one. No, it's number. It's oh, sorry, I, I so number one six. number. Yeah. Okay. I took so which number, number six? Six. It's the, my birthday. Birthday. Yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let me explain some of the other numbers. Just very okay. quick. Uh, seven was that time that you had an accident when you were doing your gymnastics. That's why you got that scar on <coughs> your left knee. Uh, eight was the first time you had a boyfriend. He didn't do anything funny. You just hold hands. That's held, not held true. No, my father didn't let him. me do that until I was no, twenty-one. You, <laughs> no, you held hands with him. No, eleven was the time you had your first serious boyfriend. Thirteen uh, was the first kiss. Sixteen was the time. Well, we won't get into sixteen, but it was the, you lost something. 11, 13, 16, so not true. No, you're de you will deny anything that I say right now on camera, of course. I tell that was the truth. embarrassment. So here's what I want you to just tell us is, uh, are any of these numbers relevant to the person that you're thinking of who plays the lottery? Uh, yes, actually. Yes, well, good. Like, yeah. Well, first of all, I'm going to uh, look at me. I'm, uh, what age is the person that you're thinking of? 
Do I have to tell you? Yeah, yeah. She is 70. 70. Well, watch this. And now this is important. The reason I talk about the lottery is a lot of people ask me, can I predict the lottery? Yeah. I can't predict the outcome of an event that I'm not present at. What I can do is use the techniques that I've learned to determine how somebody's going to act or react by putting a certain situation. So watch this. 11 and 6 is 17. 17 and uh, 40 is 57. 57 and 13 is 70. The age of the person you had in mind. That just could be a coincidence. But Mark, watch this. 16 and 37 and 7 and 10. That's also 70. The age of the person you just had in mind. Oh 5 and 12 is 17, 17 and 14 is 31, 31, 39 is 70. 38 and 15 and 9 8, that's also 70. But wait, guess what? It gets even better. 11 and 16 is 27, 27 and 5 is 32, 32 and 38 is 70. 6 and 37 is 43 and 2 is 45 and 50 is 70. 40 How? and 7, 47 and 14 and 9 is 70. 30 and 10 is 23, 23 and 39 is Mark? 70. 62, no, not 70, 60, <laughs> and 8 70. is 70, but wait, it gets even better, 11 and 6 is 17, 16, 37, that's 75, and 12 is 17, 15, 32, and 38, 70, 9, 8, 17, 14, 31, 31, 39, 70, 7 and 9 is 10, is 17, 17, and 13, 30, 30, and 40, 70, even the diagonal is 11 and 37, and 14, and 8, that's 70, 13 and 7 is 20, 20 and 12 is 32, 32, 38, 70, even the four center ones, 37 and 7 is uh, 44, 44, and 12, and 14, 70, the age of the person you just had in mind, all of the numbers are relevant to you but even more importantly just look at me okay just take a deep breath I hate in this bit. No, no, look at me just Get take out of my head <laughs> just Keith. take just take a deep okay. breath in and out and just focus on the person now okay. and focus on uh, their name and imagine right now just imagine that the person's walking in and imagine okay. that you're screaming their name now even if they're related to you uh, so if it's your mom or whatever don't say hello mom I want you to say hello whatever okay. not out loud just in your mind look I flitted between two names, but okay. I'm not. I'm not so sure. I was going to go with Mary, but I don't think it's Mary. No. I'm going to go with who's Margaret? My auntie Margaret just turned seventy over the weekend. Happy birthday, auntie Margaret! She wouldn't you mind me sharing that age either. Margaret. <sighs> Hey Margaret, happy birthday. Come to one of the live shows starting December 28th in Galway. All the dates are on keepbarry.com. See, it's always me. Although we can't well, read your mind. It really annoyed him. Just freaks me Winning out. I, I know what my tell was, by the way. What's your tell? My tell was I actually looked at the hand I had a bloody thing in. But anyway, no, no. That's no, no, it's not. It's your nose, nose. nose. Watch the nose. The what nose. does the nose do? The nose. Does the oh, nose yes, point it. to the hand that it's in? Maybe. Ah. Not your eyes, not your face. The nose. Watch the nose. But well, the, the nose my even... size is like a pointer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well nice. done. Oh, anyway, Keith, well done The point again. about magic is, is that we shouldn't know how it works. It's fun, suspend your disbelief. Yeah, and absolutely. if you want to laugh your head off and uh, be fooled, hopefully, as well, come to a show. Well, entertained is better yeah. than food. <laughs>